Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the month again where everybody makes their videos of everything that they color. So this is my video of everything I colored in March of 2024. And then all the sparkle that you see, I'm gonna guess you can see it. Move it around, very sparkly. I used this opal glitter medium master's touch this came from uh, hobby lobby and it kind of looks like this it's just full of glittery goodness i used this on a few pictures this month but yeah i just kind of painted that over the top of it and just made it all glittery but i thought it turned out really cute i don't usually color things like this but that was really cute I thought so again that's color in heaven fantasy mushroom special there's the color in heaven information if you're interested in that and then we're gonna go to another color in heaven dark fantasy special this is my very favorite one I love Ines Guerrero I just love her she's wonderful but I finally finished, this was a whip. I finally finished the first page. And let's see, I did not use that opal glitter stuff there. The glitter that you see in the background here, I just put some, uh, I put some craft glue on there and just sprinkled the glitter on there. This was like loose glitter that you can get at like Walmart or something. And then, I just put it on there and got the access off. She's got some glitter on her hair. <laughs> but then this part down here, the blue is done with soft pastels. The dark background is also done with soft pastels. The little planet over here is a metallic marker. And then all the rest of it is pencil. And that is done with the Black Widows. And this little pinky red part that you can see here, that's all the, uh, also metallic marker. But I thought she turned out pretty good, and I'm glad to have that done, because that's been a whip for a couple months. So that was Color in Heaven, Dark Fantasy Special. And I got a couple of them done here in the Evil Beauties Horror Coloring Book. That's the back in that one. This is a Zen Doodles book. Let's see, the first one is the cover page. That's this one. I actually started coloring this in. Um, my urban legends video of uh, the Calioca plantation I started coloring this but this is done with uh, black widow pencils and then I've got Winkastella some red Winkastella here and this is spectrum noir kind of like the same concept as the Winkastella I've got some gel crown in the background here, just barely, just to give it a little bit of color. Wink Estella up here in the eyes. But I thought she turned out really cool. I love doing these pages with just one color, but many shades. And then I did this one. And I just outlined it in washi tape. But this is done with the Tong Fu pencils. I still need to do a review on these. This is the only picture I have colored with them and I have not swatched them so I really should get that video done. But I like the way this one turned out. The pencils weren't terrible. Like I said, it was the first time that I used them, but I like the way the picture turned out. There's no embellishments on this at all, just the washi tape around the edges here. But that's all just pencil. 
yeah, that's in the Evil Beauties book. And then we've got the Dark Shadows coloring book. Did the first page here. Let me see if I can remember what all this is. This up here is just glitter glue. I just wanted to go ham on this one. So I just put glitter glue up here and just kind of spread it out up on the, the spider web. And then this is gel pen. Her dress is all gel pen and her little leggings is gel pen. Um, her skin, I can't, I think I did that with Prisma, but I can't be sure. I don't remember what I used for her skin. But then her hair, and this gold color back here is all like this tempera paint that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. I don't know, I just felt like throwing a bunch of color on paper and this is what happened. <laughs> and then I did this one. And I actually did a video on doing the background of this one. Um, I used the soft pastels to do the background and I do like the way it turned out at the end of that video I put black around because I wanted to deepen it up a little bit and I think that was a good move because it kind of mimics the reflection on the floor here but then the pencils that I used for this were uh, Prismas I used Prismas for that but I think yeah I've got a little bit of glitter in her eyes. I don't know if you can see it. And I don't remember what I used. That must be a gel pen or something. I don't, I don't actually remember. But I like the way this one turned out. Again, that's in dark shadows. Back of it looks like that. Okay, and next is the Art of Color. And this turned out so awesome. I love the way this turned out. This was a whip and I did get him done pretty early in the month. I used um, Posca, or no, I didn't use Posca. This is a white gel pen I used for his eyebrows. I don't know if the light's getting in the way of that, but the eyebrows and then his facial hair here. I used that white gel pen and then his little button. I can see that it kind of has a, a shininess to it. I put um, glossy accent on that. And then the rest of this, everything else was colored with uh, Prisma colors. And there you go. There's the, I think that's the combination for the skin. So that's what that was. I love this. I thought this turned out very cool. And again, that was The Art of Color by Molly Jack, Shades of Us. Here's what the back of that one looks like. Okay, and another Art of Color by Molly Jack. This one is The Whispers of the North. And we've got this tree this turned out awesome as well the background is all acrylic paint and I mixed blue or not blue yes dark blue and black together and painted the back and then I got a lighter blue and white and just got a sponge and kind of sponged it on there. It's kind of to like mimic clouds, I guess. And then I did the same thing down here. This is also acrylic paint. I just sponged it on. And then I colored the whole thing. The tree and the, the leaves and stuff were done with Prisma. And then I put this opal glitter medium all over it again because there's you know it's nighttime it's stars but like it's so glittery in real life i don't know if the camera's picking it up but i like it 
And then I colored this little troll man. Um, let's see. I started to use, I think this is Posca here that I was starting to use. And I didn't want it to be too white, so I just gave him a little bit of white whiskers here and there. But this was colored with the Color pencils. And of course, this is all grayscale, so I love the way grayscale turns out. I like to color it. But there he is a little closer. But yeah, I'm happy with that picture. Looks kind of creepy in the background back there. Yep, this was fun. And that was The Art of Color, Whispers of the North by Mawa Jack. Alrighty, we're getting down to the end, y'all. I didn't color too many this month. And the last book we did was in the Pinup Portrait, Grayscale Coloring Book. The first picture we did we did this blonde girl. Um, there's a video of the background of this. This was a uh, gel crown that I did the background with. And then I just took some distressed ink and kind of put it on the corners just to close it in a little because it was very, very pink. It's still very pink, but it was very pink. So I toned it down a little bit and then I used Prismas for her hair and her skin and her shirt. And then I think I used, it looks like I used a fine liner for her eyelashes. Beautiful girl. And then the last picture is this one. And again, colored with Prisma. The background, this yellow back here is, uh, it's ink. I just stamped on ink back here. And then I just outlined the picture with some washi tape. I really liked coloring her. I liked the way that she turned out. I really do like this book actually. And they're pretty quick pictures to color but there she is she doesn't have any glitter at all I can't believe it but that was the last picture pin up portraits grayscale color book there's the back it's by bamboo bear publishing but there we have it y'all that's all my pictures that I colored If I can grab the book. Here we go. Those are all my pictures that I colored for the month of March 2024. Thank y'all for watching. Bye. See you next time.